Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Wandering Village, where we are here with our Ambu new, as she is still pushing her way through this vast desert. We are just about to leave what we are going to call the Seed Sand Desert, since we did discover the tomato and the wheat seeds while we were here, for new lands. And to be honest, I'm not really sure which new lands we should pick, and I'm kind of nervous about that, because if we go to the north, then we will be entering an unexplored area that does have an oasis and a settlement waiting for us. But there are also hints of a poison forest not too far away. And going into the red zone is kind of this interesting mountain zone where I know a lot of our crops would not really thrive. We're getting really low on food and that's not good, especially considering we have recently had a bit of a baby boom and welcomed two new members to our tribe. I still haven't found them just yet, so I haven't been able to bequeath upon them the names from our wonderful patrons uh, and have them be reborn in Katori Village, but hopefully we'll find them soon. I just kind of have to like run from person to person till I figure out who doesn't have the right name. <laughs> Or we could go to the south and we would need to go across a patch of burning hot sand that would actually burn uh, our Ambu's feet. And I'm not really happy about that. And there's a thunderstorm, a really strong one that might damage many buildings. So I think it's kind of like a no brainer and we should go north. Uh, oh no, Ambu doesn't trust our commands. But Ambu, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, what should we do? All right, we'll pet her. Uh, can we get her to maybe, like, lie down for a minute? Okay, we can get her to lie down for just a minute. And then we're preparing to pet her. And then after we pet her, we'll go ahead and we will try to give her uh, some food. Because we really don't need our Ambu deciding that she is not going to listen to us when we're trying to save her from scorching sand and a thunderstorm. But I really like how that makes you have to go ahead and kind of appreciate that... There you go, my dear. Do you want to do some sleeping? Okay, good. We can get her to sleep for a little bit. That would be very good. While we prepare to go ahead and pet her. That might wake her up, but... If she does... This was actually a really smart move, because if she does decide, like, she's not going to listen to us, and she's going to go south into the scorching sands where a giant thunderstorm is raging across the mountain range we would enter, uh, if we are going to do that, then at least we will have her fully rested so that we will be able to go ahead and like run her as quickly as possible. All right, so I think that that would have the village elders, Elder Jack and Elder David, extremely concerned. Oh my gosh, and Builder Rebecca is starving. Legitimately starving. Please tell me she's about to get some food. She's got a polenta! Oh, thank goodness. Okay, hang in there, Elder Jack. Or hang in there, hang in there, Builder Rebecca. And Elder Jack and Elder David are like probably trying to figure out what they were going to do for our village next. I probably need to get like a couple more farmers added in here. I should have people planting and harvesting everything, but I, I toggle plantation, toggle harvesting. But does that turn it on or off? I don't know. <laughs> and if we are about to end up in a new area. I think wheat and tomatoes might actually grow better in the area that we're going to. And beets. Beets grow really well in those colder zones. So let's go ahead and try getting wheat and beets planted. I'm hoping that actually lets us plant. Like, does that prevent us from planting things? Or does that allow us to plant things? The toggling... Okay, water available for crops. It's really hard for me to be able to tell because like there's a lot of all right whoever starts planting things first but i guess they can't plant beets right now so let's go for wheat right now i think i need more carriers i think that that's actually something we need to switch over to pretty soon so i'm actually going to switch everybody who's currently building because they're just doing roads at the moment over to being carriers and hopefully the carriers will bring more water onto the farm the farmer shouldn't have to go too far to be able to bring more over, though. Alright, I would really like to see some of you guys planting things, please. <laughs> I guess you have to go ahead and harvest the crops we already have, but getting a little nervous about the whole food situation here. Not gonna lie. 
Oh, and the food stands actually need workers? What? I didn't know that. I absolutely didn't know that. Does that mean we've had like a worker all the way over here? Mountain Climber James! Has he been bringing food all the way up here? Oh, that's so interesting! And now Librarian- Dang it! Librarian and Lord of Thunder are going to the kitchen when there's food right here. Uh, Alright, Mountain Climber James, how are you idle? Maybe there's not enough food in the kitchen. Alright. Uh, look, if they're gonna go all the way that that far away, then I'm gonna go ahead. We need- okay, yeah, people I think are planting and harvesting the mushrooms over here? It's a little confusing to me, like... I, I mean, toggle, does that turn it on or off? I fret, I fret. Okay, Ombu's waking up. Did we give her- did we give it a pet? I think we gave it a pet. And then, can we go ahead and give her some food? We do have some food. She's getting up. Alright, she feels a lot better. Amu, please go to the north now? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> she accepted our command. I was really scared she was going to ignore us. Meanwhile, what is going on? We'll kind of speed up for just a second. Because I'm really worried I have... Okay, so people do... Okay, so that turns it on or off. Got it. Now we're getting some planting going on. We're getting a little bit of wheat put in because we are about to enter a new zone. I think the mountain zone will actually provide a lot of water for our wells, which is a good thing. Our air wells, I'm so grateful we built so many of so long ago. Uh, I think we might actually have some people start working on harvesting the trees again. Just a few of them. Um, and maybe I won't pick the one. Well, all right, might pick the ones near the mother tree. And then maybe pick a few of these. Don't pick the mother tree. Do not, do not harvest an actual mother tree. Because apparently the mother trees are actually one of the trees that we will be putting the tree nursery next to. The tree nursery gathers saplings from nearby mother trees without damaging them. The more mother trees surrounding the building, the more efficient it is. So... I think we could probably put one over here and get really lucky with three mother trees. Oh good, and one of our scavenging parties is back. Who came back? Was it these two? All right, Explorer Victoria and Explorer Sakura are back. <gasps> yes, a wedding decision. You encountered a group of settlers looking for a new home. Will you let them join your village? Yes, we need more people. I can't wait to see how many we can have. We'll see some of these villagers are going to be like new. Um, new births in some of them. Yay! Four more people! A few are hungry. We are working on getting more food. Alright, I think we should actually have more people, like, able to join the farm. And potentially other locations. Oh, one of our new people! Yes! Who's going over the compost heap? <laughs> you know what? We're gonna name this person Chemist Quinn! Quinn, thank you so much for being one of the patrons who make all of our adventures possible in the Pixel Biology channel. And I know you're working at the compost heap for your first thing, but just know that you are contributing a vital help to the biogas construction, which will keep the village alive. Oh good, and here's more of the new people. So moving to farm. So then this is going to be a farmer. I like the idea that this one was possibly born here. Farmer Madeline! And Madeline, you too, thank you, thank you for supporting us on our Patreon. I'm so glad you were reborn here. I will try to keep you alive. I know everybody's kind of hungry right now. Oh my gosh, we've got more people. Yay! Okay, so moving to farm. So this is also going to be uh, Farmer Little Royal Elf. There we go. Oh man, I think I can make the names really, really long. That's exciting. So I, I'm going to say both the farmers were born in the village. And then Christian here is, is actually going to be Peach. So, I mean, where, where are you going to work? Let's actually wait and see. Because I think Christian's just coming over because they're hungry. Wait, are they going to be the food distributor? <gasps> they are! Look at that! Okay! So I think, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. So they're actually moving the food distribution right over here. 
And maybe I wonder if they can bring food to people because that would be amazing if you could just bring food to the workers in the field. Uh, so this is actually going to be Peach. So I'm actually going to name this person. Like they're not cooking the food, but they are distributing the food. Oh, what should I name them? I kind of want to name them like, oh, I kind of want to name them um, like restaurateur, but I don't think that we have anything like that just yet. So maybe mm, we'll go with Peach. And then I, I need to think up their job in a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Peach is moving the polenta over. And we have a fleet of farmers now. We have a whole bunch of people planting the wheat, which, oh, and the windmill is now researched. Yes. Okay. So with the windmill researched, that will grind the wheat into flour. And then let's do research on a bakery. All right. <laughs> Hopefully the wheat will grow well. Hopefully we'll get enough things moved in so that we can plant a whole lot of wheat. Hopefully we'll have enough food. You know, a little nervous about everything. It looks like people are coming to the food stand to properly eat though, which is exciting. I know the kitchen is nearby, but maybe having the food stand will help. <laughs> it's, it's cute. It looks like the chefs are even coming down here now. All right, the chefs want better food variety and we do need to replace a whole bunch of the houses. Um, so I wonder, I'm going to open up that food stand again. And as soon as we get a new person, hopefully we'll be able to continue working there. Oh, and it looks like our ombu is getting kind of hungry. Let's go ahead and feed her. We only have three food prepared, which makes me a little nervous. And then we're going to send out a couple parties to the water, maybe to the mines. One, one over here to the water, even though we don't need a ton of water. Wow, but we had like seven. Oh, look at her. I love watching as she manages to get her snack. That's really cute. All right, and we are about to enter a new zone and there are a couple poisoned forests that I think are brave explorers might push their way into. Uh oh, what's this? You know what we really need to create? The scout tower. That might be the next thing we do. It's for knowledge though. But if we could be able to see what's around us, that might help us get even more knowledge is what I'm thinking. All right, ooh, and the scavenging party returned with 33 water, which is fantastic. And there's a bunch of, okay, we're about to leave the sand dunes, so I'm going to gather as much sand as we can. We already have 201 sand. One day we will be able to learn the secrets of how to be able to transform all of that sand into glass and then build better places. But for now, all right. Man, Lord of Thunder, <laughs> your tent is over here. I wish he would stay up here for the food. Maybe if I move one of the kitchens over here, that will help. Yeah, herbalist Amy moving to mycologist. Interesting. All right, herbalist Amy is now making like the food for our ombu. Let's see, how's she doing? I think she's doing good. Yeah, does she need any more food? We could feed her. Oh, there's a big thunderstorm. It's not as bad as the thunderstorm we could have run into though. Hmm. All right. I'm kind of caught up on like, I think I need more people, but at the same time, maybe I need to have like a kitchen over here to potentially keep some of our food. Oh, we're in the mountain biome now. All right, what's that going to do to, I think our herbs will somewhat keep growing. And we still have one herbalist, Herbalist E, who's on the job. Are we going to get enough of the wheat? The wheat is going to be tricky to grow. The beets are going to be a little tricky to grow. Nothing really likes growing in the mountains. The, neither the wheats nor the beets. So we're going to get these guys working on wheat. These guys on beets. And then how is the biogas? Yes, okay, so we actually have three biogas formations right now, which is fantastic because then we'll be able to have the decontaminators grab the biogas and save everyone's lives if plans go to fruition. All right, and I think now is the time 
No, no, our research teams aren't back yet. I thought they were. Also, I need to harvest like all of the, all of the mushrooms that we have to make sure that we are staying on top of that. How's our wood? Not terrible. Good, good, good. Oh, somebody's actually happy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Nether, thank you for, so much for being happy. I am so sad that your your hut is all the way back over here. I wish we could give you a home that is, like, closer. I really wish there was a way to, like, organize that. But that's okay. We'll just have to cope with what we've got. Alright, are you guys farming enough? Alright, our farmers are getting things in the ground. The wheat's not exactly growing super fast. Missing resources. All right, there we go. The farmers are off getting some water. Ha! Huh, and one of the scavenging teams is back. So who are our brave adventurers? It's Victoria and Sakura again, as they are getting ready to go ahead and go over to the shrine. Yes! Tasty looking stones? Uh-oh. Oh no, so we're gonna have to really work on trust because there are some stones that look like the Ombu's favorite food and we need to convince her, like, no, you don't want to eat that, my dear. Oh, and a bunch of nomads. Oh, we might need to see if we can go ahead and cross paths with them. Oh, so we have to like have her slow down or maybe like sit. Oh, it excavated its bowels. Hmm, our dung collector. Well, we've got enough for the compost heap right now. Yeah, Chemist Quinn is doing a good job of creating some biogas at the moment. How's the beets? Beets are growing okay. The wheat is actually going to need processed sooner than I thought. So we're gonna need a windmill. I kinda like the idea of having the windmill like down here. For some reason, it's kinda close to the, the farms. And that makes a bit of sense to me. And well, it's actually next to the compost heap that way. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll go ahead and we'll move the windmill up here to be close to where eventually we might build a bakery. All right, we'll build a windmill right here and I'll make it a priority for our general workers. Speaking of workers, let's see. Can we convince that group of villagers to potentially join us. If we have her take a nap, I think we might be able to. All right, let's go ahead and give her maybe another pet. Okay, can't give her a pet. Let's give her another food. And then we'll see if we can convince her to sit down in just a little bit here. All right, we're going really low on food, but the beets are almost starting to get ready for some harvesting. And then once the beets are harvested, We'll shift gear from Palinta. Are there any berries left? There's not really any berries, so we'll go to beet soup. There's not any beets right now, but we'll we will have beets shortly. There we go. And now villager Sam is actually headed over to help out with the cooking. Okay, Ambu. Do you want to go ahead and have a little sleep? Is she gonna do it? Okay, right now she's eating. Do you wanna lie down, my dear? Okay, so she accepted our command for lying down. I think you have to have her lie down first. And then this group of nomads, oh man, I wonder if we need to like send some people out from our scavenging to go get them? All right, she's sitting down. Her hunger is better. I'm really hoping we pick up this group of nomads. Because if I could just have more farmers, like we have got the technology, Elder Jack and Elder David are doing a really good job of being able to convince people how to go ahead and do their work. Now I just desperately need, yeah, so the wheat is being gathered. I really need to get that built. Who do we have working the wood planks? Oh, North! I don't think North has ever been given a name. Yay! So this is actually going to be Luna. So we're going to name this person um, Carpenter Luna. There we go. 
And Luna, thank you so much for your wonderful support to keep us going. And I know we have a stone cutter like hiding. No, the carpenter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Luna, you're actually a stone cutter, so I'm actually going to name you uh, Mountain Explorer, or how about Mountain Cave Diver Luna? Because that just sounds so cool. And then do we have a carpenter, Colleen. So Colleen is currently our carpenter. There we go. Okay, so yeah, the windmill is being constructed. The wheat is being collected. And I kind of wonder if I should do another plot line up here and just plant things wherever I can. Scavenging party has come back. These nomads, come on guys. I can only keep her here for so long. Okay, and then how's our water situation? Is it, okay, I think the water, oh, is she just sitting? There you go, sweetie. I didn't know she was just sitting. I didn't know we could have her sit that long. <laughs> Okay, maybe there is a hope that we'll be able to visit with the nomads after all. Yes! And maybe if we keep her well fed enough, she won't want to go ahead and try to eat the, like, the terrible constipation causing tasty stones. <laughs> all right. Meanwhile, who are our brave adventurers going to be going into the forest? All right, it's Explorer Megan and her partner. And we're gonna send them exploring the poisoned forest, which is very dangerous. However, it might yield something very special. So they're gonna risk it. And meanwhile, Builder Rebecca, get some food. Get some food, I beg you. Everybody's fussing at me about food variety right now. Okay, good. And oh, look at that, yes. Our little food stand is technically working. <laughs> oh my gosh, and people are like hauling bunny hunkers. A lot of people are getting hungry. But they should have access to at least a ton of polenta. This kitchen is overflowing with polenta. So is this one. <laughs> so if you're hungry, it's not my fault right now. Yes, the windmill is getting built. Oh, and it's another one of our new villagers. So I like the idea that the nomads we picked up actually had the knowledge to be able to give us the windmill. And this is going to be Sharky. Sharky, welcome. So I'm actually gonna name you Miller Sharky. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get you this job, but I'm gonna try. Oh, windmill constructed, woo! Okay, and I'm actually gonna like, Turn off this one for just a second, and we'll see if I get a windmill worker. I only need one person. But it's actually going to be, oh, 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 oh. it's actually going to be Gib. Gib, I will give you a new name in just a second. <gasps> we encountered the nomads, finally, yes! Come on in, friends. And three new people have come to join us. What? A freaking relief. <laughs> I think we might actually be able to have more of the help that we so desperately need. And we are going to get our windmill going, making flour, and hopefully soon we will be able to turn that flour into some delicious bread, which will hopefully feed the village. This is so exciting. I probably should build like a storage spot so that we keep the wheat and we keep the flour just like right over here. All right. Maybe, maybe not destroy the wheat that we're trying to grow, but let's see. Yeah, I want to keep the wheat and flour over here so that we can just go ahead, everybody move it in here. Maybe we don't need that just yet. We'll wait, we'll see. We will wait and see. And then is everybody getting fed? Gib, are you going to be okay? Oh, and Gib, let me go ahead and give you your name. And this is going to be Jennifer. So Miller Jennifer. Welcome and thank you as always so much for helping us out. Alari is like, I'm out of corn. What do you want me to do? That's actually a good question because <laughs> if we are out of corn, I suppose we could work on the beets. There's actually some berries, so maybe some berry moussely. And I wish we could grow more berries, but alas. Oh my gosh. All right, there's scavengers already and we're doing it, you guys. It looked really hairy there for just a second and librarian definitely needs to eat some food, please. Oh man, like there is not enough food over here and I don't know what to do for them. Oh boy, like you guys need to turn around and go get some food before you starve. 
Okay, there is food over here. Ah, I'm so nervous about this. I think we need more food stalls. How do I get more people to the food stalls so we don't all starve? We're going to have to figure that out. But all right, if you guys could, do please leave a like for our wonderful Katori village that's trying and struggling to be able to survive. And uh, for the unknown future we have waiting ahead for all of us. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!